12 horror this. game villains I can beat. Lately, I've been liking the I can beat genre of videos. It first started with the horror movies, like horror movie characters or horror movies that I can beat. Now we got horror games. Shout out to It's Marky, Marcy. You know what I'm saying? Seven K subscribers, get that boy up. You feel me? By the way, if you guys didn't know, I am live on Kick. There will be a link to the original video down below and my stream. So pull up. Horror games, we love them, and some of us it scares the shit out of. But honestly, it's one oh, of the best. Speaking of horror, horror game villains, Lady Demis Dem Demetress from Resident Evil. That's my type of shorty right there. She could beat me all she wants. Other than that. Um, now for real, for real, horror games, I strictly like go to like Resident Evil, uh, Outlast, uh, I guess, you know, Five Nights at Freddy's, I'm not beating that. Yo, for some of y'all that have been in the streams, cause I know you watching this on YouTube, bro, I am struggling. I am on night four of the first game and I can't beat it. Uh, yeah, man. Hey, we ain't Dramas doing too good. Gaming to play. I mean, who doesn't love shitting themselves at three o'clock in the morning? Cause you decided to play Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm just saying. But I can't be the only one who's ever paused and thought, hmm. I feel like I can whoop these niggas' asses. Oh God! And that's what we talking about today. Horror games. I feel like I could easily be, and I even feel like you could do it too if you him. I just wanna go home. Granny? Oh uh, hell nah. Bro, so the granny game. It's granny, bro. You just gotta overpower her take the club that she has and then beat her and that's it what the, what the hell man? you're doing all types of different puzzles to unlock keys to get out to the front door but the main thing is granny's chasing you around with this fucking unga bunga big ass stick in her hand <laughs> trying to knock you out yeah i don't know about you but i'm knocking the fuck out of your average grandma i'm yep. giving it a buck i said it i'm not letting no i'm HM doing that right there take me down now she do got some strength behind her if she one tap on it, I'ma keep it a buck. But honestly, I just think the guy you playing as in Granny, a weak ass nigga. Me personally, I'ma fucking engage that that Mike Tyson Bob and Weave and just ma, ma, ma. I'm oh, not God. letting make her. A Mike, I'm make not Mike. Let Bro, Vash, she survives shotgun shots. Bro, he sh listen to me. I am going to overpower her. And because she kidnapped me, or I don't, don't know the premises of the game, I actually don't know how I ended up in the house. But let's say she's the one that kidnapped me. I'm going to overpower her. And guess what? I am leaving here with something. Because there is no reason for me to be in this house right now. So I'm leaving with something. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? And her take me. First of all, I'm knocking her out, and two, there's windows, nigga. I'm jumping out a window, even Duh. if I didn't want to go the fighting route, even though I would gladly piece her up for knocking me out in the first place. I'm escaping. I'm escaping. I'm jumping out the window, or I'm knocking her out. I'm keeping that a bug. So easy. Hello, neighbor. <laughs> Hello, neighbor. Wait, somebody asked me if we played Hello, neighbor. We, we haven't played Hello, neighbor. I know, like, this guy, like, kidnaps kids or something i know it's like some bullshit going on or something like that uh this one might be a little hard because that boy be running he be sprinting but let me tell y'all something about hello neighbor this game i wouldn't even be in the situation because why would i break into his house i ain't got no type of beef with you bro you keep doing what you're doing i'm out of there neighbor now hello neighbor is a little bit a little bit a step above granny because it's not it's not a grandma it's your average nigga now hello neighbor he got a crazy ass house he, he got something going on so buddy gotta be smart he got something cooking up in his is this head. a speed run and he got kids in his basement i'm gonna call the cops all right C call me a snitch call me a snitch i don't care that nigga got kids in his basement <laughs> yeah i'm calling the police i'm not dealing with that why am I? Ooh, I am not finna go die to a pedophile on Jesus Christ. I'm not. Oh, I'm fast. finna go get the Muska tool and we're putting bro in a t shirt. We are not finna go out there and die like that. Buddy is crazy. He has a whole roller coaster going through his house and you think this nigga ain't with the shits? I'm shooting, bro, on oh, sight. Shit. <laughs> Hell nah. Five Nights at Freddy's. If you don't know what FNAF is, it's about a whole bunch of kids that got killed, stuffed in costumes, and now they possess the suits, and now they want to kill you. After night one, where they're barely active, and you go back home, and you know these niggas are alive, first of all, we're going to take the smart route. Why the fuck am I returning to Five Nights at Freddy's after I know 
after I know that these niggas are alive and trying to kill me. I do not need that minimum wage. That's that what bad. I'm, I'm saying. Gonna go work at McDonald's, my nigga. If we're gonna take the smart route, if we're gonna take the route of brute forcing it, yeah, bro, listen, man. I'm going in there with like a sledgehammer. Yeah, bro, listen, man. If I take this security job and I start hearing har 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 and shit moving around and ting 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 sprinting, yeah, bro, I'm out of there. You will not see me come back for no night two, night three. No, I'm out. Hell no. And an EMP, like nigga, this is fun to be Rainbow Six Siege in this motherfucker. Oh yeah, I'm gonna pick the nastiest peak on that corner. Gamer, look out! Soon as that nigga come down the hallway, yeah, he's gone. He's is dead. It? He's not coming back. Freddy's gonna catch bullet holes. That nigga is not bulletproof. I'm gonna fuck. What you talking about? I said right foot creep. Oh yeah, there's an evil. <laughs> look around, stay low, make sure they don't see it. The Resident Evil franchise is something totally different these niggas are built different yup almost everyone and we're, we're just gonna talk the baker family almost oh yeah good in the baker family good 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 because if he talks about wesker yeah gg pack him up we not doing nothing to him bullets and it came back nigga that shit is scary as fuck now although the game does get beat with the weapons given I think I could do what Ethan Winters did. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I feel like I could do it. I feel like I'm, I'm, a, I'm taking out Jack. Oh God, I'm taking out Jack. I'm taking out the mom and her nasty coochie. Cause if y'all <laughs> played that game, nigga, that bitch, that bitch was nasty. Yo, all up in the walls and shit. Really taking her out. Ew. I'm taking out everyone. Now my biggest fear is Lucas, my nigga. If you played that game, you know Lucas was a crafty little nigga, and he was basically saw on steroids. I mean, like, this nigga would Yo. put you in some nefarious-ass traps that you had no chance of beating. Like, it wasn't even, like, a trap that you could escape. Like, he would put you in there and be like, oh, yeah, go do this, and you can get out. That nigga was capping his ass off. He just wanted to see you run around like a dickhead for five minutes before he killed you. That nigga is straight and nefarious. Now that's one nigga in that franchise. I don't think I'm beating. Yo, he's with that Resident Evil Eight, nigga. <laughs> Lady Demetrius, bro. I told y'all. She, she can have beat to run me. From me, I'm keeping that shit. Bug fit. <laughs> Say what you want, my nigga, but Lady Demetrius can get it all day, every day. She getting straight. Me and her chalooper, nigga. This shit is brutal. And if we're talking about the other games, oh hell no, Nemesis is chasing after you. No. We're not gonna talk about none of those, cause nigga, ain't nobody beating Nemesis. I don't give a fuck who you are, Facts. what you're talking about. You are not beating Nemesis. That's a big ass nigga. That nigga's like nine foot oh something. Oh my god, chasing after Yo, you. Yo, is that connected? No, she's gone for it, bro. Yo, look at the big. Why did I feel this swing through the screen? Ass nigga. That nigga's like oh. nine foot something chasing after you with nothing but trend in his veins. He is taking you down on God. How many times did they kill that nigga? And that nigga still came back. Ain't that shit. They needed like a government fucking rail gun to even damage this nigga. Who do I look like? Bill Gates, nigga? I'm not taking down this nigga. I don't have the firepower to do so. Yo, I didn't even, even finish the I game. Did, I, don't know I mean, I didn't even play this game. Ever. Ricky. When I catch you, Ricky, Ricky, when I catch you, Ricky, Ricky, when I catch you, Ricky, Ricky. Dead by Daylight. Now, this game, ooh, if you ever play with randoms in this game, uh, first of all, before I even get into it, if you play Dead by Daylight and you hide in the locker the whole round, I hope you fucking wake up with both sides of your pillow warm, and I hope you trip and fall and die, nigga. I Whoa. hate you with a passion. Why did it go from Anyways, pillows to that? This game, I feel like, is extremely beatable. Now, if you're like, nigga, how am I going to work on a generator? So apparently the entity or whatever that runs the fucking the the thing in Dead by Daylight, they give you the knowledge to repair generators. Now, the only thing is some of the killers in DBD can be beaten. I mean, there's killers like Trapper, which is just a regular nigga with bear traps. I'm piecing up. I'm piecing bro in his face. <laughs> I'm really? For what you talking about? I'm knocking that nigga out. With but there's only killers in that game. He has weapons, bro. That ain't getting beaten. Nigga, they have an alien in that game. Hell no. Nah. Fucking ghost face. Hell no. Nah. Literally Michael Myers, nigga. Hell Michael nah. Myers. They have a nurse that can yeah. teleport. Nigga, there's a lot of killers in that game that ain't that nigga you're not beating. But there's I know there's a couple in there I'm beating. One of them is literally just a zesty pop star. I'm whooping that nigga's ass. But I'm not whooping. Michael Myers ass. That nigga is He's crucial. A that nigga's gonna pick me up by my neck and snap it like a like a fucking pretzel or something. Like, I, I'm not fighting that nigga. I don't Hell nah. What you're talking about? That is so that's one game that I feel entity. like I could beat some killers. But if you roll the dice and then you got someone like fucking 
nemesis Hell or nah. fucking like demogorgon or some Hell shit. Hell nah. You're, you're cooked. Oh, I'll last fuck no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That One shit of the was most mad loud. games I feel like I put in this category that I feel like I could survive is Outlast. Now hear me out, hear me out. Outlast, you're a journalist and you're going there to investigate basically fucking Arkham Asylum on steroids. Yep. Now, this is a game where you could choose the smart route of just not fucking not go going inside the building. Thank you. I mean, literally, when you start up the game and you go up in there, the first thing you see is massacred armed guards, and this nigga literally is like skewered in kebab go through the chest, back. and he has a gun. You're telling me something in this mental asylum beat a whole team of armed shooters and has this nigga kebobbed and you went further into the facility <laughs> white people oh 101 i am not doing yeah. that nigga. I'm my brother jay cosmos i appreciate the resub you've been subbed for eight months eight eight months bro yo that's crazy i didn't know i've been streaming for eight months tight shit. okay thank you man i'm walking right back out as soon as i seen bro i would have been like huh, let me dap you up appreciate you g i'm dipping going There's back no yo. other way you're beating this game i'm keeping that up yo and the, the thing is this man is a reporter why do you want to report about the asylum bro you just need to go home could beat it unless you went back and came back with the fucking military and i'm not talking about some random five or six niggas shit. i mean the entire military we need the rainbow six Jets and all shit. that's the only way you're surviving that because regardless nigga no one is beating that big nigga and i know y'all know what big nigga i'm talking yep, about yep. that nigga scares the shit out of me if i heard that nigga say his fucking line fuck no that I'm one gone i'm Dipping. I'm sacrificing anyone. That's it, nigga. I am not beating that. Horror Hell games no. I could easily survive. After y'all showing so much support on the first video, you know I had to come back. There's but another part one. Two, had to step back in the ring and defend my name. Do you honestly think you're fucking funny? What? Seriously. Oh. You're a fucking ugly little cunt, mate. And if I ever see you, I'm Friday the 13th, you and a whole bunch of homies. Wait, low key, this might be easy. If it was real life, yo, K. Yeah, I see you. I see you, K. My boy KDS in here. He's a he's a frequent Friday the 13th player. Low key, this might be easy. Think about it. IRL, we could kind of cook, bro. Like our group, me, Cade, uh, uh, Lunar, my boy Eric, Brian, Vibes. We could actually cook, bro. Word two, like this would be too easy for us. Fuck it, let's bring this on. Let's go to Camp Crystal Lake and let's bowl. All of a sudden, Jason Voorhees come killing niggas. How do you beat this? This game is honestly on the beatable scale. I'm not gonna lie. It is That's one of two reasons. In this game, this version of Jason can be jumped. Like you can <laughs> spam this nigga with firecrackers, and bro is stunned for like yeah. a solid three hours. Now. If you're with a whole bunch of idiots, you just gotta sacrifice some of the homies. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep it a bug, yeah. Get the car battery, you go get the gas and you dip. And honestly, to even escape from there, you don't even need the car. You don't even need that. Just run into the woods. Get out of there. If you know you gotta go that way to get out of there, fuck the car. Run. You're yep. in a life or death situation. Why would I not just go for it and run? Yeah, because he. Oh! Doki Doki Literature Club. Yo, yo, low key. This game, it's weird because I thought the premise of the game, you literally just read text. I thought that shit was. It's a good game. But, anyways, the only thing that's hindering you in this in Friday the 13th is the fact that the players have stats, right? Some of them have low stamina, others are weaker than others, others are stronger, whatever. But if it's real life, though. I am not running out of no stamina. Trust me. And then when it's time to jump Jason, bro, it's really sad for him. He's cooked. And He's why cooked. would I not just go for it and run? You look lonely. Yeah, I really did forget about this. Hey, this Doki is Doki easy Literature though. Club, a meta psychological horror game that breaks the fourth wall with the main villain being Monica, manipulating her fellow game characters and code just to be with you. Now, there's a lot of different ways you can go up beating this. One, just delete the game and don't be a coomer and give in to Monica. Or... Oh god, man. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I can't yeah. fucking compete. Hey, if she really want to be with you, you just got to put in work, man. 
You just gotta really put it at work. Bro, why am I super zoomed in, chat? Texas Chainsaw Massacre? No. Y'all are not beating this. I've seen the gameplays. I actually played like one or two rounds and then I returned the game because I ain't really want it. But y'all not beating this, bro. This is hard. There's no way. I just can't fucking compete. Can you get the fuck? Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Now, this game has always confused me, and honestly, Leatherface as a character and like the whole franchise has confused me as like, how are those people in trouble? It's a whole bunch of old, riggedy white people in the woods. But like, I used to live in Georgia. I used psychos, to see niggas bro. like that all the time. They not own shit. Old man's finna get his ass beat. Old lady finna get her ass beat. Everyone's getting their ass beat. I'ma keep that a buck. Now, only my fear is Leatherface. That nigga six Yo, he... retard strength. I don't know how I'ma do that. I'm, I'm probably good, gonna have bro. to I'm catch good. bro with like a crowbar to his kneecap because leatherface can take damage he's not as invincible as like people think like if you hit him in the knee with a crowbar that nigga is going down and he's gonna be in pain you can't power through a shattered kneecap i don't give a fuck what you're talking about so i'm shattering bro's kneecap so is he on the ground i'm gonna curb stop i'm just mm, mm, mm. bro is not getting up he is he's out He's out like a light. I'm nah, gonna hit bro, him with not a him. magical suplex. He, oh, last thing he's gonna see is my black Air Force coming in contact with his face. Okay, all right. See, I was gonna say he's 6'4". You are not suplexing nobody. But then you talk about the black Air Forces. Ah, uh, you got it. If that's what you're wearing, you got the power up. Cry of fear. Oh, I heard about this game. You gotta just escape. Cry of fear, you play as a man, Simon, that gets hit by a car after trying to help a man. Now, you wake up in an alleyway, you're looking for answers, and then you realize Yo, Zelda, what's you're getting? in hell. You're fighting the fucking scariest, most maniacal creatures out there. Now, could I beat it? I feel like I could possibly beat it, but it would be very high diff. And it's not from a, a physical standpoint, from a mental standpoint, because if you know the game and spoilers ahead, this whole game is in your head. You're having a psychotic episode. Oh, no. Nah. So this is really dependent nah. on per- That ain't gonna, see? Psychotic episode? That's not gonna happen to me, bro. Trash. Trust me, man. Person to person, if you think you could overcome this shit, because this shit seems real. Like, imagine you're in Simon's POV, you wake up in a random alleyway, and then there's just hell monsters all around. Nine times out of ten, y'all, y'all are folding. Y'all are y'all would be so mentally fucked in this situation. There would be no beating this. I want to have a discussion about this in the comments, because I really love this fucking game. So if you think you could beat this shit, I want you to tell me why in the comments and how you would fucking snap out of the cycle psychosis which is cry of fear bendy and the ink machine oh wow i forgot about this bendy and the ink machine is a game of where you go into this old animation studio and there's a lot of ink monsters that are alive bendy's trying to kill you now my first thing is if you can take soul have a good night learning to a drawing and make it real what character can i bring into this world to help me i'm bringing in Shit. goku and he's gonna solo everything that nigga, hi, it's me, Goku. And he's gonna wanna throw hands with everyone. Oh, hey, God. Goku, that nigga Bendy said you a bitch. He's gonna beat that nigga's ass, and I'm have nothing to worry about. Now, I'm gonna have to worry about something after he beats everyone's ass, and then it's just me and him looking at each other. And he's like, I don't know what to tell, bro, after he beats everyone's ass. Like, <laughs> You're then next. that's when the real trouble begins. But we're gonna cross that bitch when we get there. Before that, Goku's gonna beat everyone's ass. That's all I gotta say. Bendy and the Eek Machine gotta be the most beatable game ever. I need to hang up that computer call. Come over here and kiss me on my hot mouth. Hey, yo. I'm feeling romantic. Hell Five nah. at Freddy's. Now, we already know what FNAF is. Children killed, stuffed in the zoots, now they possess the animatronics. I already talked about the first FNAF in the first movie. Let me cover the other ones. FNAF 2. FNAF 2 seems like probably the most beatable one because you're not really dealing with too much. A lot of them are tricked by the mask or a flashlight. That's probably like IRL, probably the easiest fucking gameplay to deal with. And Wait. also, you know, the So y'all made me start with FNAF 1. I can't even beat that. So FNAF 2 is going to be easier? Bet. So now we got to lock in with FNAF. You Bro, feel me? we can dip. Because after night one, <laughs> Chica's going to have to run for me, my nigga. Hey, Play hey, Chica and get, get I, it. And then I'm dipping. Just saying the same Honestly, thing. because I'm not dealing with that you know bullshit. What but realistically, if we had to deal with that, just putting on a mask and then a flashlight. And honestly, IRL, why does this nigga not just leave the mask on and use the flashlight? I can't be the only one that's thought about that while playing that game. 
FNAF 3 is just the ultimate 1v1. I don't give a fuck. Everything else is in your head. All the phantom and animatronics can't actually hurt you. They can't do shit. That is a 1v1 versus you versus Springtrap. Bro, I'm gonna oh, throw him. hands, nigga. You're not sliding. And uh, the animatronics are immortal. They can't fucking die. Yes, the fuck they can. You ever heard of a flamethrower, nigga? <laughs> Have you ever seen the video of like of that guy that caught a roach and then he hit it with a blowtorch? That's Yo, what I'm gonna do to that. That video got. That video is the reason why I have a community guideline strike, bro. Dude, and he just put it on my shit. That nigga, I'ma just flame his shit until he's nothing but <laughs> ash. He's not coming back from that. I always bro, come back. Bro, just gave me a PTSD. Nah, homie, you're in a wood. We're smoking on you. You're ashes, bro. Now, as a FNAF fan myself, I still honestly don't fully understand FNAF 4. But from my understanding, and FNAF fans, please correct me in the comments. I'm pretty sure FNAF 4 is all in this kid's head. Oh, so, honestly, so he's capping. Fuck a flamethrower. Springtrap had the whole building burned on top of him and he lived. Yo, bro. So that means he dead, bro. No way to die. He got bit and he just dies anyways because his fucking frontal lobe was in was Freddy's that the mouth. Bite of so bro was gone either way. So FNAF 4 does not even count. Oh, hope you enjoyed. That was, yeah, I did. Subscribe. Okay, no problem. Yeah. That was fire, bro. I told y'all this was gonna be a lit video, bro. It started with the horror movies I can beat, and now we got the horror game villains. Fire, fire. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. W video. I liked it for sure, man. Hey, man. Shout out to it's Mark Marcy. Not sure if I'm saying it right. Do a video.